Hello, and a very warm welcome to the Insider Essay, your guide to living better. Join us today as we open up to reinvention with comedian Prev Reddy spilling some spicy beans on the inspiration behind his alter ego, Auntie Shamila. Singer-songwriter Bobby van Jarsveld transforms into a glam camping dad on a family getaway in Stanford. Trade your winter blues for a weekend of snow skiing just over the Malutis in Lesotho. Dark turns to light as we discover the art of nightography out on the town in Josie. Joburg Ballet dances again in La Traviata, a French love story set to an Italian score danced by stars from as far as Brazil. When a classic dance company reinvented itself as Joburg Ballet 21 years ago, it was not just to survive, but thrive in a new era. Now, ballet mistress Lauren Slade can say with pride, it's mission accomplished. So I've been with this fabulous company for 21 years, I'm very proud to say. I originally started as a dancer with Pack Ballet and went through the various ranks and when Joburg Ballet opened I was one of the founding dancers. So it's so fantastic to be here 21 years later, it's an absolute accolade that we're here to celebrate this special anniversary. On the back of winning last year's Naledi Theatre Award for Best Production, the company is following up with an audience favourite. We are staging the Traviata, which is our very first full-length three-act ballet since the pandemic uh, hit the world. Joburg Ballet definitely survived the COVID pandemic due to passion. A dancer is born a dancer, and that passion will never die, no matter what gets thrown at a dancer. And here we are, strong and ready to go on the other side. La Traviata is a popular story, and choreographer Veronica Paper's production of it has already been a hit in the UK. The plot of La Traviata is based on a, a, an opera, but before the opera came a book by Alexandre Dumas, based on a little incident in his life where he met this beautiful courtesan lady, uh, Camille was her name, and uh, fell madly in love with her. And he went and lived with her in the country, uh, which was scandalous in those days. And the father then asked Camille to please leave him because the suitor of his daughter wouldn't marry the young sister if he continued his affair with this scandalous courtesan. The moving portrait of a woman who defies convention for love is danced by an international cast with the roles of Camille and Armand performed by four different sets of leads. I was very fortunate when I got somebody to turn the opera into a score for a ballet. And I've used the Verdi music, which is so beautiful, the music and the story together inspired me to create the ballet that I did. Theatre is there to be entertaining. Either you come there to laugh and have fun, or you come there to be terribly moved and cry. And uh, I don't consider myself just a choreographer, I consider myself an entertainer. Nicole Ferreira Dill and Armando Barros live to breathe life into such dramatic lead roles. I have been wanting to dance the role of Camille for the past 10 years, so I'm so excited and I think for me I've just completely fallen in love with the choreography, with the music, with the actual character of Camille and I think for me the most beautiful part that I'm so excited about is just to simply tell the story. People when they come to the theatre and they watch, everything is pretty, it's a fairy tale, the lifts and the jumps. It, it's meant to, to, to look like that, to look easy, but it's actually really hard. So I think that's the part of the ballet that we, we struggle a little bit, is like to manage how you work with your body in a clever way so you don't get injured. And the, re, the, the reward, it's literally to see the audience connected with that story. Ballet is an art form that you don't speak. There's no words during a show. So we literally tell everything with hands, 
movements and emotion. When people think ballet, they think, you know, the little jewelry box girl turning around. But it's a lot more than what the eye sees on stage. We're continually trying to push our bodies through pain, contort ourselves into weird positions that look beautiful on stage and effortless and painless. And that takes a lot of time and hours. And there are days when you're in a lot of pain and you don't want to do that and you have to push through. Bringing the South American dance tradition to Africa are Brazilian dance partners Monica Cristina and Ruan Galdino. So to dance here with South African audience is really nice. I really feel at home. I feel like safe here. I can feel the passion, people like clapping, screaming, and it's the same thing happening in Brazil, happening here. Everyone asks like, why you choose South Africa? You come from Brazil and you could dance anywhere in the world. First of all, I love South Africa because it's that country that is emerging, right? So it's that country that you see things are changing. Even if it's lower or not, it's a changing. So it's an opportunity of growth. And I feel for me being here, I have this mission of helping, you know, like me being a, a black lead guy, you know, in a ballet, in a culture that like black people don't do, they don't do ballet. They don't think it's for black people, which is not true. You know, so you can be the prince. So I see a lot of people, especially the young people, they want to change, they want something new. And it's giving me that fire inside, you know, to spread that uh, energy, that word. And then I love it. I Generally, I love South Africa. <laughs> Ballet has evolved so much and has broken down so many barriers over, over the last few years. I feel the dancers here dance from a place where it is more than just steps. You know, it's a feeling, it's a being. And I think that that's why it's important to keep ballet alive in South Africa because it can take you around the world and introduce you to new cultures, new peoples. I think it's very important to keep that alive. The music gives you goosebumps. There's passion, sadness, romance, every emotion that you can evoke out of an audience. And our hope is that the audience leaves fulfilled but exhilarated. La Traviata runs for eight performances at the Joburg Theatre from the 1st to the 10th of July. And for your chance to win a set of double tickets, visit the Insider Essays social media channels. Coming up, snow skiing reinvented for South African winters over the mountains and not so far away in Lesotho. With a five-hour drive from Joburg, you can almost escape the cold. Or the same distance can see you embrace the season at this snowy playground in the Maluti Mountains. Reimagining her winter, Palesa Kalani was here to live better, as she wants all South Africans to do. Hi, I'm Palesa. I'm a business engineer at Capitec, and I am at Afriski for the long weekend with my friends. I've been with Capitec for about four and a half years and I love my job as a business engineer because I get to work across the bank and making sure that we improve the client experience, we improve our products and ensure that Capitec is sustainable and relevant in the future. My personality, I'm an introvert, a loud one though. I love being outdoors, I love trying new things, hence why I'm here at the slopes to experience this because it's something I haven't done. I do horse riding, I play golf as well, experiential dining. Wherever the wind takes me is where I basically go. Nicolette Ferreira is here to ensure guests squeeze every bit of adventure from the visit. We are here at Afri Ski Mountain Resort. We call it the 365 day mountain resort as we have activities right through the year, but the most well-known is our winter activities and our slopes. We skiing, snowboarding, we offer snowboard lessons, private lessons, group lessons. We've got bum boarding and tubing, which the guys absolutely enjoy. It's just a lot of fun. And then of course we have our restaurants and entertainment right through the winter season as well. 
It is to allow everyday South Africans experiences like these that Capitex Live Better Rewards program sets out to see you get paid rather than pay for banking. One of my biggest favorite things actually about Live Better is that I get physical cash back so I don't have to figure out how to use rewards or points or anything like that. I know I'm guaranteed money back in my account on the 10th. So how I basically maximize my Live Better cash backs is one is that I have all my interest sweeps sent into my Live Better account. I also have the roundup set to the maximum amount, so every time I transact, it rounds it up to 10 Rand and then that money goes into my Liberator account. I also only use my cards to transact, specifically my credit card because it has a higher percentage back on the Liberator cash back. And then I shop at all of our partners. Once you've done your normal everyday banking, shopped at our partners to get your rewards and the roundups and the interest sweeps, then on the 10th of every month, all of your cashback benefits will be then paid into your Live Better account, which will then also earn interest that is actually higher than your savings account. So you can decide to leave the money in the account or you can use it on experiences and living your best life. Here in Lesotho, what you can do via a short road trip would otherwise cost return flights to Europe, visas and a major outlay. I'm so excited about doing my first bucket list item, skiing. The snow is not as cold as I thought it would be, so I'm excited. It should go well, hopefully. <laughs> Hello, Felissa. How are Hi, you? Hi, Hey, nice I'm to good. see you. Are Thank you ready you. for your lesson? I'm ready for skiing. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> okay, we're going to put our skis together. You're going to bend your knees, relax, and you're going to push your head forward. You're going to lean forward. You know Michael Jackson? Can you do the Michael Jackson? Ha! When I'm going down the hill, my knees bent and I lean forward, forward into the hill. Okay, I don't sit down. You can stand up straight if you want, but I want you leaning forward, putting all of the weight onto the toes of the skis. This is the pizza slice. When we shout pizza, means we want you to slow down and stop, okay? Yes. The bigger the pizza, the stronger the break. Oh. Okay, so if you have a small pizza, you're gonna control your speed. You're just gonna go slowly, but you won't stop. If you push your skis out, you'll stop. But now be careful, you're gonna keep your muscles strong. Because if you push your legs back. So you still you skiing. Split. Exactly. And then. Just leaning on my shins. Skis together. If I don't have enough speed, I can walk. Shimmy my skis left and right. Nicely done. You're gonna pick up a little speed on the tip. And push those skis out. Nicely done. Yay! Toes are touching. Yay! But that was good. Well done, should we go a little bit higher? Okay. Let's go a little bit higher. No school lesson or magazine horoscope ever warns you of a ski lift in your future. This is hard. Hold on tight. It wasn't helping. Don't be scared, we're gonna go down the hill. This is what we're here for, hips forward, knees bent, and Wait. push your skis out as far as you can. And we're gonna go slowly down the hill. See, that's a good pizza, you're not going anywhere. So keep that shape. Lean forward, take small steps. Hey, relax, push your legs out. Hoppa! <laughs> I lean backwards. And I wasn't supposed okay. to lean backwards and I backstroked. You started perfectly. If you stayed in that position, you would have been fine. Happily, everyone else is so busy falling about that no one notices your first day on skis. After a couple of falls <laughs> and slips, I finally got the hang of it. Skiing has been a bucket list item of mine and I think it's about pushing boundaries and putting yourself out there even it makes you uncomfortable. <laughs> As you would have seen, I fell a couple of times, but it's fun, it's the experience. Um, I will forever hold it in my heart. So it's important to always learn new things, enjoy new hobbies, new skills, or just push yourself into new things. I was amazed at how beautiful Lesotho is in general. 
I think it encapsulates the beauty of Africa as a continent. The views, the scenery, the people, it's just, yeah, it's great. Loved it. To Kulufelo Poppy Mocheka, the best ski lesson was learning that the real fun starts after dark. I got to learn how to ski. It is incredibly cold. I got to enjoy my hot chocolate with friends and I got to learn a skill that I thought I would never develop in the continent of Africa. So what I enjoy most is like the experience of the snow kite. We hardly get snow in South Africa, so me being here, I loved it, I love meeting people. I just had a great time. I recommend you to come to this location. The parting is yes. absolutely amazing. What's next for me? Well, I'm looking forward to us getting more partner rewards, swiping my card even more so I can get more cashbacks on the 10th again. And yeah, just growing the bank and empowering our South African clients with the best banking app and reward system out there. With Capitech turning the 10th of every month, Live Better Day into a second payday, the bank aims to give clients 1 billion rand in cash back and savings by the end of the year. Tell us how you would live better on your cash back and stand a chance to win a thousand rand. Simply reply to the competition post on the Insider SA social media platforms using hashtag Capitech Live Better. T's and C's apply and can be found on the Insider SA website. Right after this, Prev Ready trained for the business side of showbiz, then transformed into one of its true entertainers. Sponsored by Capitech. Simplify banking. Live better. When Durban's Prev Ready won the coveted award for favorite African social star of 2020, it was as his reinvented alter ego, Auntie Shamila. First created in his room here at home, she's now a mainstay of his career. Hey everybody, it's Prev Ready, comedian, actor, and content creator. And welcome Inside SA to my home. Come on inside. Come on. Uh, I was born and raised in Durban. I schooled at Durban High School and then I went on to study film production and script writing at AFTA. My parents didn't want me to go and study actual acting because they're Indian. So I had to go and study something that had a business element to it. And I guess producing had that business element, which was my way into the industry. It wasn't until I got to college that I realized that maybe stand-up is something that I was interested in. Once Prev understood the comic gold in staying true to his culture, Auntie Shamila was the perfect medium to express this. I am no stranger to being a Lone Ranger, so I decided to take myself overseas and go shopping. Okay, not overseas, overseas. I went to Amshlanga, but you know it's very far. You have to get your passport stamped and everything to go that side. Auntie Shamila was never meant to happen. I don't think anyone wakes up one day and decides they're going to be their mother for a living, you know? So it happened based off an argument that my mom and I had. And I had to film it because I needed everyone to see, like, surely I don't think this is ridiculous for myself. And when it went viral, that's when I realized that, you know, we all have that one auntie in our family that's no nonsense, very witty, not very good at phrases, but the heart's in the right place. And that's when I decided to make this an actual career. Okay, so this is my little Shamila lair, my office space. As you can see, is a lot, you'll find a lot of bits and bobs of like nerdy things. I'm quite a geek, I love my comics and my fan stuff. This is the rail of insanity is what I like to call it. So these are all my different wigs for all the different characters. The inspiration for Auntie Shamila came from my mom, but also my grands and also my aunts. I was raised by majority of the women in my family. So my mom was at work, my grands were looking after me. If my grands were busy, I was with my mom's two sisters. So I think when creating her, 
And when I started to really delve and flesh out the character, I just took their best and their worst qualities and created this full-bodied person. So I think that's why she also resonates so much with so many people is because there's a family member that they can see in her in different moments, in different skits. In terms of prepping for the character and embodying all of those, you know, aunties and my mom and my grands, it comes down to this little, little blue gown. And once I put it on and it starts folding like this, then Shamila has arrived. This is the current wig. And now I'm here and I am very excited that uh, you all brought me to this interview. It's taken you all long enough. I don't know why you all have my son uh, talking about me when I've been here this whole time and all you all needed to do was summon me. Why does Auntie Shamila resonate and relate with so many people across the world? And the answer is simple. I am a phenomenon. I'm not afraid to say what I want to say. I'm not afraid to have an opinion. And I think that's what people like, that I feel like I'm their voice. The content that's seen him move into his own apartment and book international gigs is rooted in community experience. We are at my most favorite spy shop in the entire Durban. It has everything I need to make my curries taste as divine as they do. And we're gonna get all my special ingredients for my fish curry today, so come on, let's go. How are you, my angel? I'm good, and you? Wonderful. Uh, can I get about uh, 700 grams of the seafood and veg masala? And this Kashmiri, about a kilo of this Kashmiri for me, right? Sure. There's so many things I love about Durban, you know, as a mother, model, actress, magician, comedian. I think our people here are so unique, so friendly, so comical. And um, I think my son has done an excellent way of growing his following and mine by showing everyone what we go through in a daily basis without hiding, without sugarcoating, without shying away from our culture, our upbringing, the way we speak, the things we do, the way we eat, and you know, the comedy and how we handle situations. I think that's the reason why the numbers are what it is. And I think people who are not familiar with the Indian culture have taken a liking to it and an interest in it. And I think that's why there's such a large following and backing, so yeah. It's been his parents' example of hard work that's driven Prev. But above all, his mom Neary Reddy, who's been his muse. We are in the kitchen with my mom at the moment. We're gonna be making my favorite Durban fish curry. A lot of my time growing up, I spent here in the kitchen with my mother. And that's where I picked up all the mannerisms and the isms and the sayings that she's had. And she makes it that Auntie Shamila has. And the fish curry, it is divine. And it's a Durban fish curry. You know, Durban curry and curries elsewhere are two different, different things. So really, what or who is the not so secret spice? Everyone thinks Auntie Shamila is based on you, right? So mm -hmm. how do you feel knowing that Auntie Shamila is based on you and the other characters are based on different members of the family? Like, how does it... Because it's not really you. Only but. No, 99% is me. Mm. <laughs> because when I meet most of your fans, they always tell me, are you the real Auntie Shamila? <laughs> I said, yes, I am the real Auntie Shamila. Yeah. Prev takes a lot of ideas from us mostly from our telephone conversations <laughs> with my sisters and my mom. I have a tendency of uh, whenever my mom's on the phone with her sisters and stuff, I'll just go sit quietly and act like I'm doing something else. But in fact, I'm doing content research and just picking up the little things that they say because I promise you the videos that you see, it writes itself. I'm absolutely, absolutely proud of you, Praveen. Oh, thanks. Whenever I go somewhere and I'm chatting with somebody, <laughs> I will quickly ask them, do you know who's my son? <laughs> yeah, so I'm really, really proud of you. And you have worked hard and you're an absolutely determined child. Thanks. Who never ever gives up for anything. Oh, that smell. That smell, you know, I tour all the time and I love living abroad for limited periods of time, but this food is what makes home top tier because you don't get this food anywhere. And this is why I will always keep coming back right here. 
Rev's offering now includes a first feature film, which he's beginning to promote. The family have a bona fide star. Thanks, Marjorie. This looks delicious. Thank you. And my grand also made us a lamb biryani. The thing I'm most proud of is my ability to adapt and change with this industry that's always changing, particularly in the internet space and in content. Every day there's something new and you have to stay on top of it and stay relevant. So I think out of all the accolades and the shows and whatever, I think that core creativeness is the thing I'm most proud of. And Anishamila is not going anywhere. The future of Anishamila is still bright. I think I'm also taking the time to now do shows as me and introduce the world as me. So I think in the near future, we're going to see a lot of me and Auntie Shamila on stage at the same time. But, you know, together in one show. If a few more parents now see performing arts as a serious profession, that will be Prev's legacy. Just ahead, recording artist turned dramatic actor Bobby van Jarsveld's favorite role is dad to his three kids. Like many a singer-songwriter before him, touring country towns has been Bobby van Jarsveld's bread and butter since his career began in his teens. He still loves out-of-the-way places, except now it's in his reinvented role as a film and television star. But most importantly, as a husband to Anna van Jarsveld and dad to their kids Sion, Lieben and Armani. Okay, Jarach, here's Owens in Stanford. The insider is saying thank you so very much for inviting us to Stanford, and this is already amazing. Okay, so the plan for the rest of the day is me and the boys, we're going up the mountain to go and camp there, and while the girls are going to just relax inside the cabin, and yeah, that's going to be awesome. Camping basically in the wild, it's going to be great. The farm is designed by owner Johannes van Ikerk to offer several getaways in one. Welcome to Rivers End Farm just outside of Stanford. We've got on the farm the cabin, the glamping in the bus, and wild camping as well. Guests can go kayaking in the river. We do trips for them to the beach for sandboarding, or they can just sit and enjoy the view of the mountains. While Bobby's children know their dad as someone to never shy away from hard tasks, setting up this camp was one he was happy leaving to Rikke Stritter. Camping in South Africa is incredible for me because I can go out into the wildlife and enjoy the nature and to get away from the hustle and bustle from the city. I hope Bobby and his children are going to have a nice time here at the farm and enjoy the wildlife. Since getting his first contract at the age when most guys are still in matric, creating music has been this recording artist's waking and sleeping quest. Then he had his first child. Yeah, so for me as a, as a father, as a parent of um, two boys, one girl, it's very important for us as a family to just get away, to break away sometimes. And it's so important to us as a family because I feel that that's the stuff that the kids are going to remember. As being a parent, you definitely learn Suddenly it's not all about you anymore. Your whole life changes, everything changes. Um, your thinking ahead changes, your plans for the future change, everything just changed. As he now sees it, having millions of fans isn't the point. If his family are fans of who he is to them, then that is what matters. This is amazing, this is awesome, this is right up alley. Um, we love it. This is perfect. I wish I could stay here for a week and write some couple of songs, this is just amazing. The first thing that caught my attention was definitely the view. The detail and everything here, it's just, um, it's got everything, it's, it's incredible. The definition of being a good parent is, is time, giving them your absolute attention and time. So after a very long day of travelling, we've got an action-packed day tomorrow full of fun activities, so we'll try to slap. Like a slap, see you in the morning, good night. Early starts are something Bobby has been getting used to since he began filming a new drama series where every minute of daylight is gold. With his intense schedule, free mornings with Anna and the kids are bliss. Right, my coffee. Hello. Hello, yellow buzzard. Lekker. 
Boy, is sterk gezien, lekker geslapen tenten en gebraai. En dan was het mooi. Waai blomme, waai partijas. Het is erg amazing geweest. This cabin is amazing. First of all, this cabin is in the middle of nowhere. So it's really cool. Uh, when I walked in here, the, the whole wood interior makes it feel like you're somewhere overseas in a cold place. The whole vibe in this cabin is really homey and, and comfortable. And the view is incredible towards the mountains. It's insane. Raising these three is definitely a job requiring a balance of skills. So, om om my ouwer te wees, vooral in ons, jy moet span wees en om die kinders goed te maak saam met Annikie. Um, is, raar, is baie goed, sy is een baie goeie maal vir hulle. Sy, sy is so raarig baie mooi vir hulle. Um, sy is definitief die sachter een in die huis. Ek denk ek is die harder ene. So, ons het al persoonlijkheid en al effort baie nodig. Bobby as a pa is um, definitief een meer perfectionist as ek. Hy hou van dinge op hulle plek en georganiseerd. Ek en die kinders draal bij tot redelike goals. So ek probeer van my kant af ook. Maar hy is een baie liefdevolle pa en hy is baie outgoing lief om dinge som met hulle te doen. The obvious question is which kinds of characters this unique blend of parenting produces. Ek denk ouwerskap van ander Elkeen van ons, soos ons maar ouwer word, toe die kinders klein was, was het baie verantwoordelikere, maar nou dat hulle groter word, besef ek eindelijk hoe belangrijk een rol speel een pa in Sienkiese levens vooral. So hy is baie lief om som met hulle bal te speel en dinge som met hulle buitenkant te doen, maar hy is ook deel van hulle vorming om eendag goeie mans te word. En ja, dit is een verschrikkelijke mooi eindschap vir my. Unique traits in my kids, well first up uh, Armani, the youngest one, she's like a Tomboy Princess. Leben, the middle one, um, he's loud and very outgoing. And Sion, my eldest, he's more reserved. He thinks about everything. The farm offers something for each personality. But as for Bobby, this was his favorite. This bus traveled through Africa before coming to River's End, where it will be its last resting place. The unique features of the bus, you can still see the steering wheel, you got a lovely kitchen in here, shower and bathroom and a double bed in the back. The outside design, we just went for a wooden old look that fits the bus to keep the rustic look to fit with the farm. I saw that bus just here and it took me back to my touring days with the band and that will be the perfect tour bus. I will borrow that, that bus for us, definitely. Far from having a father who's holed up in a recording studio each day, the Van Yartsveld children have one who's happiest outdoors. I love to go fishing, I, lo I love to play, go play golf with my dad, and I always like to shoot movies with him, and yeah. <laughs> my favourite thing about my dad is when we go somewhere, he always wants to come with. Thank you for always supporting and thank you for always being the best dad possible. I like playing ball with him outside and he always wants to watch a movie or something. Um, he's taught me manners and to be kind to other people. A nation could go far on such simple rules for life. Bob will have learned these lessons growing up as one of five siblings and it has stood him in good stead ever since. Go. We're taking the red canoe. Okay, are you going to take the red canoe? Jullie twee gaan op hom, ek sê blauwe vat. Oké. Lekker. Yo, having kids is, is such a privilege. You realize how selfish you were before then. Suddenly, all of a sudden, and it's your responsibility to, to send out these kids as adults one day to be there, to just be good people. So that's a big responsibility on our shoulders. All the fathers out there think that they're not owning up to the responsibilities, but um, a good definition of a father would be time. Everything I think all they want is time. Your dedication and giving them your time. So we just arrived at uh, Swoopy Slip. We drive quite a long drive to here, uh, going through all the, the thick sand and the bushes and everything. Beautiful, beautiful drive. And then all of a sudden, just on the top of the dune, you see this amazing big bright blue ocean that's just in front of your eyes. We are very outdoor people, outdoor family, so we love to go outdoors and just enjoy nature and especially the beach, living in KZN with the warm water that side. We love going to the beach and um, yeah, spend a day on the beach with the kids and especially diving. We love deep sea diving and my kids, are, my boys are starting to dive now, so we love it. 
And Marnie loves picking up shells. Um, always when we're on the coast or at the sea or whatever, she just loves picking up shells. And it's just really cute to see her exploring this world today. As soon as the boys are old enough, they're sure to follow their dad, diving the best reefs on the planet, or just sharing his love for bultong. In the picnic, we are eating drivors, bultong. I don't know, that's the most important part, is drivors and bultong. I don't, I don't care about the rest, it's drivors, bultong. This water is um, very cold. We used to warm water and case it in. It's, it's a major difference. It's beautiful, but it's really cold. I, I just went in and just ran out. <laughs> it's the deep water of deceit and chaos that Bobby's lead character is caught up in with his latest series. This weekend was the antidote. Um, this is a very special place to be creating memories with my kids. It's always a special moment for us as a family. The, the, the moments that I remember in my life when I was a boy, a, a little boy, are the moments that I spent with my dad on the beach somewhere fishing. So this is a very special moment for me. Seeing the kids smiling and having fun like this, it makes me feel great. It makes me feel like I will stay here for about two more weeks just to see their faces. It hasn't all been fun and games. Bob has had his share of vocal surgeries through the years, time in hospital and sleep issues. So he makes sure to live and eat healthily. In the Van Jarsveld house, dinners usually look like a circus. It's, it's really a bit of everything combined. I like to see myself as a vegan, uh, not really, but uh, like a 50% vegan, so during the week. And weekends I'll have meat and braai and everything. But during the week, it's a, it's a bit of a circus because everyone eats different things, always. I eat alles. I eat alles. I eat alles, but I eat all the things that I work. So I can eat something for them to eat. And then I eat something for their preferences, which is a really good organization. Basically a restaurant. But on the other hand, I eat all the things that I eat. Ons gaan een lekker eenvoudige brooi ook vanavond. Ons gaan um, brooi broekjes maken met hunner en steak en sosaties en een lekker meal. This family is a tight unit, all very aware they need each other. And that unity is their source of strength and fun. Ik denk allemaal van onze leven is zo gejaagd. Zo ons um, probeer in die chaos eindelijk maar een plek om te ontspannen en als gezin net te wees. So, so a getaway as a gesin is eindelijk amazing om herinneringe by mekaar te maak en dinge wat hulle vir altyd sal onthou. My favorite thing about today is that we can be together and we can explore new places. He is always kind and he learns us different things. Thank you for teaching us manners and always being kind to us. Not forgetting his real superpower that he can bry like no one's business. So, does he have any pearls to share? It's always difficult to give advice to, to fathers out there because I know how tough it can be, but how lucky it can be as well. I would say that spend time with your kids, teach them that, that you are trustworthy, that they can trust you with anything, so that they don't need to go to other people. They can trust you for that. Guys at home, thank you so much for watching. The Fun Yard was having fun, we appreciate it. And all the best, see you soon. As reinventions go, Bobby's transformation from teen music heartthrob to family man may be his greatest hit of all. Still to come, night, camera, action. How the genius of nightography creates art in the dark. Josie is the city where, if you work hard, dreams do come true. The success of influencers like Sinkobile Tusani and Mandise Jakovula is proof, and the secret, aside from their magnetic personalities, is the device both choose to create their content with. I want to take a few mirror selfies. Okay, okay, ciao, ciao. Also, our outfits are matching like crazy. I know, right? <laughs> It's like we coordinated it. Okay, cool. Let's see your bedroom. Come. Okay. <laughs>
the ladies wanted to put their new devices through the kind of non-stop, day-night, indoor-outdoor activity that would test their specific features and all-round versatility. My name is Sin Mawile Tusade, I'm known as Sin. I'm a makeup artist and a content creator. This is Man's Not Hot, aka Chippy Yappy Tori. <laughs> I'm a social media influencer, creative, you know, no limits, but yeah. Today I'm going to go for a very rich, smoky look that's going to bring her out her eyes. And because they're going for an epic night out, the Samsung S22 is going to help bring my work to life. So plans for tonight is that we're doing our makeup, girl time, choosing our outfits, we're doing drinks, and then we're doing dinner at the rooftop. I know, I'm excited, I'm really excited. I really love the fact that I can go out with my friends and, you know, just be out after COVID when we were locked down, we were sort of limited. So the fact that now we can go out and like have fun in the night and we have the same phones, the Samsung S22, it allows us to capture those moments. I really enjoy that. Sin is such an amazing person. Like going out with her is always vibes. And we love like going out clubbing and just having like dinners. Joburg nightlife is amazing. So many clubs, so many restaurants. And I always have fun like partying around here. Since the gram demands such visual quality to catch the eye of fans and followers, Sin has found all the features to do this in the palm of her hand. So what I love doing is like taking photos um, of my different outfits, sending them to my friends or my sister just for like advice on what I must wear. The feature that I use is a detail enhancer and it's right when you open the camera. So it helps with sharpening the details that you want the next person to see. So really think that's cool. My sense of style is a mixture of very comfortable, wearing comfortable items, or going all the way extra. Um, so today I went for extra because it's a girl's night, so I just wanted to look cute. Okay, so my epic night out with Galaxy S22. I decided to be really vibey today. My outfit is so me, it's nice and girly, but a bit like streetish, tomboyish, and some sneakers for comfort. The best things happen after dark, and to capture them, the S22's camera has a big pixel sensor to pull in light, while the super clear glass dials down lens flare. Welcome to High House Rosebank, where the night comes to life. So the look and feel of the hotel is designed to make guests feel like home. The apartment style living, modern, yet very comfortable, and allowing people to do what they do at home. So our two influences, they can either hit our deck to indulge themselves in the nightlife, or they can go out in the city itself where they will find everything the city has to offer at its best. It's just so great to be away from like work and like be around friends, good energy, and enjoy some downtime with my friend. So every time we're together, yeah. it opens up time to explore and, you know, take content, do video, yeah. all the fun stuff that when we go home, we can look back at the memories that exactly. we both captured. Yes, please. And I always love time with you, especially yeah. at night, because we get to have fun. Fun okay? time, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> My favorite feature of the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is the director's view. The fact that I can showcase the nightlife or literally anything that I'm doing and still show myself, like two videos in one, is quite epic. I agree with you, I agree. My favorite feature about the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is that the night mode is awesome, right? Because yeah. you know my content is always like at night. Yes, and night The nightlife, the lights, the everything, so it, gives you great quality without compromising my work. It shows everything as in. Literally little Maybe details. Even so love it. Yes, girl. I just love the fact that social media brings people together. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have connected with people from different parts of the world if it weren't for social media. Yes, it does speed things up a bit and gets us to like a fast-paced living lifestyle. But overall, it's really amazing. And, and also we're making money. Thank you, Sorry. it's over! <laughs> yeah, I love social media, you know, I'm a TikToker. So taking clean pictures um, from the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is so important because 
If I am a person viewing content and I'm seeing blurry pictures, I'm seeing not so good lighting and so yeah. on, it's not going to catch my eye. So if I want to catch my viewers' eyes, my audience's eyes, I have to take really good Clean content. content. Clean content. Clean yeah. content, yeah. What is on the pipeline for MANS? Well, I am tapping into media. I'm tapping into mainstream media. Social media is not just where I'm going to end my story, right? Love it. I'm gonna do anything, TV, singing, acting, wait and see. Cool, so what's next for me is that I'm gonna be a performer, guys. Yes. And I'm gonna kill it so bad because I just think um, putting myself out there a bit more is what people really wanna see. I support you, okay? <laughs> So the food here is amazing. Definitely feeding my palate. Thank you. <laughs> I also enjoyed it. A solid nine out of ten. Virgin cocktail girlies. Oh, yes. Sir. Virgin cocktail lot. <laughs> Thank you. Inspiration doesn't wait for optimal lighting. And now you don't have to either. The biggest leap in camera technology in the sun or under the stars is yours in the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Join us again next week as URC Championship winning captain Stephen Kitsoff's off-field partnership with his wife Amy Kitsoff is the X factor in his awesome on-field success. And escaping for time together in Vic Falls helps reality TV stars, models and influencers Anisol Van Dam and Gareth Eret to keep it real. Get more of the Insider Essay online. Follow, connect, engage, and be inspired to live better with the Insider Essay. Watch the show Monday evenings at 6, repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.